Well, guys, this is lesson number three of our spreadsheet uh, lesson for computer practice N4. Uh, I hope you still remember a few formulas uh, that we engaged upon on our lesson number two. Uh, all right, let's get back to our spreadsheet template. Well, as you can see for now, I've got a graph or the chart on my screen. Uh, in this matter, it's a, a, a column graph, right? I've got a few things to, to do with you right now, shortly before we proceed to the issue of the graph. Right, for now, I can remove the graph from the screen and later on, we'll be doing it uh, together. Uh, right, apart from the issue of few formulas that we have covered. Sometimes you might be required to look for or to allow your spreadsheet to calculate the highest number, uh, which is maximum. Sometimes the lowest number or even the average. Please take note. You need to calculate the, the maximum, the minimum, the average, uh, about the lowest or the lowest you are referring to the minimum, about the maximum you are referring to highest. So before you are requested to perform calculations on this, you must be very careful which column that particular uh, maximum, minimum, or average is required. For example, let's say you are in, you are expected to, cal to calculate the highest number uh, of students passed. So you simply go uh, to this icon AutoSum, but you don't click on on AutoSum direct because we are not adding. Instead, you, you click on a scrolling arrow next to AutoSum. Remember, we're looking for highest, which is maximum. Then you click on maximum. Selection is already made. That is E6 to E10. Remember, I have said we don't calculate blank cells. So the selection must start from E6 to E9. You are done. You simply press enter. Let's say you are also required to calculate the minimum of the very same column. Same procedure, now you are going to minimum. You can see that the selection is totally wrong. So you correct the selection and enter. And lastly, let's say they are looking for an average of students failed. So you go to student fields. It must correspond with the column of students failed, failed and also correspond with, with, with the average. Again, you select average here. Wrong selection, three blank cells included. So you select from E6, I mean F6 to F9, enter. Then we are done. Right now, let us proceed uh, to the issue of a graph. But because this is our lesson number three, uh, we are going to cover this graph on our next lesson number four. Right. Uh, wh what else might be required from you during the assessment uh, in, in this spreadsheet. Symbol, you might be required to, to display the formulas. How to display the formulas? There is formulas. Then, show formulas, as you can see here. Show formulas. Be very careful. Once 
you display the formulas, your spreadsheet is going to be widened in a way that it can ever overlap to the second page, to the third page, or even to the fourth page. It depends on the length of your spreadsheet. And that is totally unacceptable uh, on your assessment because each and every uh, printout that you make in spreadsheet, it must fit on a single page. So if you can try to print this as it is, I, I can assure you it is going to overlap. As you can see down here, page one of two. That simply means if I can click print here, this spreadsheet will appear in two different pages, of which is unacceptable. Right. So we need to correct this before we print. The very first thing we can do is to convert our page, provided it, is, it has been indicated, uh, change the orientation of the page to landscape. But the problem is not yet solved. Uh, the next thing is to reduce the column sizes before you print, as you can see. I'm reducing column sizes. But as you reduce, make sure that all your formulas are fully, are fully visible. All your formulas must be fully, fully visible. Before we can print, we can also check if it fits in one page. Let's see. Now you can see this is one of one, page one of one. Now we can click print. So it's simple like that. There is nothing complicated with this one. Uh, well, as I've indicated, on our next lesson, it's gonna we we are we are going to cover the concept of a graph or chart, and it's gonna be a very short lesson. Thank you.